we really wanted to ramp up what we were offering children and families here at the museum. We opened Art Sparks, um, which I was fortunate to work with the development of that um, here at the museum, and it's a 5,000 square foot interactive space, kind of a model in the museum world for art museum interactivity. And one of the things we did is we increased the level of programming that we were offering in the summer. The summer is such a great time for kids, and the idea is to not make it like school and to make it really fun and to bring in fabulous artists and different people to work with them. At this point, maybe someday we'll offer a family camp, um, but primarily the camps are for you know, individual kids and teens. Um, but we have lots of family programs from performances to workshops to different things that everybody in the family can be involved in. Experience and discovery is kind of the focus of the camps. Um, we're really thinking that a kid gets an opportunity to get engaged on a really active level, being around a fun, inspirational artist. We have fabulous artists that we hire. It's very selective, it's competitive. Um, we have the best people in the area who are teaching our camps. They're really into kids. Um, we really try to avoid having a, a more factory-like environment, so classes are very small. And so the idea is to really have an intimate setting where people can be exploring a topic or a theme and having a great time. We have kept our camps fairly small. We do a camp a week um, as opposed to offering, let's say, five or six camps in a given week. So during the course of the summer, um, probably maybe 150 kids. Um, the interesting thing is we have a lot of repeats and we have a lot of families that end up joining the museum and getting more involved with the museum after their kids have spent this really great week with us. So it's a fabulous outreach program. We have seen kids from the camps go into our youth apprentice program that we offer here at the museum for teens. And then we've seen kids in the youth apprentice program go on to pursuing art careers or studying art. So uh, we haven't done a formal study specifically of the camps, but when we have talked to kids, they've said it really leads to additional things and really pulls them into the art world. I can think of one young woman named Sydney who came and had a dream of taking a story that she had created and she wanted to turn it into, in this case it was a claymation, and she um, I think really had a very self-actualizing experience where she had developed her story before she came to the camp and she had actually a huge amount of material and it was kind of an epic story and the look on her face when she saw it up on the screen after she'd finished doing the dozens of characters and backdrops that she needed to do and it had a score and everything else, I think it was one of those crystallizing moments for someone. And um, really for kids, I think uh, the museum has that potential of being able to bring kids in, let them explore themselves, feel really affirmed as a creative person. Um, kids are so creative and increasingly maybe everybody doesn't get that reinforcement that they really want to have. And here at the museum, that's a central goal for us. We've got a pretty good range of things um, from drawing, um, photography, um, mixed media, you know, three-dimensional kind of creations that kids are making. We also do claymation, um, stop action, claymation stories. So in addition to that, um, cartooning. One of the things that's really cool this year is we have a cartoon artist who is going to take people into the galleries and look at masterworks and turn those into contemporary cartoons. Um, clay and fiber is another um, medium that kids will get to explore. So there's just a host of topics that they can choose from. And we really take advantage of them being here at the museum from doing things inside the museum, exploring the galleries, and also some really fun um, discovery playtime out on the grounds of the museum. For families that are interested, um, we're inviting them to call the museum or go online at um, speedmuseum.org to pull up information about the camps. Um, to register, it's 502-634-2974, um, or they also can email us at camps at speedmuseum.org. Well, it's a good thing I brought my awesome giant aluminum ghost-catching foil sheet of doom. Save the gym. I, I reward you with this awesome medal. Thank you.